Great. Uh, tell me a little bit about where we are and what is hoped to be accomplished by this project. Sure. This is a uh, this is the, the demonstration project. This is a it's a CAP funded project. It's around twelve million dollars. We pre-screened uh, 12, 12 technologies, selected four of the technologies, and there's a dual purpose here. One, we want to protect the shoreline, of course, because we're experiencing quite a bit of erosion and, and loss of shoreline here. And the second is, it's just by the by the name, living shoreline. We want we want natural processes and oysters and other things to take over. So there's there's two functions here. One is protect the protect the shoreline. Two, to to provide the natural resources and opportunity to to uh, to regrow and reestablish. Um, so. so if there are enough oysters that grow on this, will it become sustainable? I mean, will it become an oyster reef? That's, that's what we're, you know, one of the things that we're evaluating, absolutely. Okay. And uh, this particular project costs? This is a $12 million project, the demonstrate. And, and the money comes from? SEAP. Okay, and that's the Coastal Impact Assistance Program? Yes, it sure uh, So it's offshore oil money that's come to the state. Correct. Uh, the next batch of these projects will be under what program? It, this would be Restore funding it would be from the Restore. Uh, oil so we're dollars. talking about BP oil still yes. fine money that will come to the state. Yeah. How much are you hoping to get to, this, to the, do that next this, batch? This project's are, I estimate around 50. The second batch, this is a three mile section. The second project is roughly 11 more miles. And uh, so. Uh, the estimate right now, the engineering estimate, of course, is early on, is around 50 to 60 million dollars. So we, we have an engineer on board. Um, we, we should be kicking off the design of this second phase pretty quickly.